No thunderstorms to report here in the valley. That was not true yesterday, unfortunately, for those uh, who were playing some high school football last night. But the showers that we had this morning in uh, Trumbull and Mercer counties have now started to move out of here, so that's good news. Let's zoom out just a little bit. I am tracking these showers that are just east of Akron, and they are heading along the I-76 to I-80 corridor, so we can see a sprinkle from that within the next hour or so, but we are really going to start that drying trend, and we're even starting to see a little bit of sunshine far south. Here's a live look out in East Liverpool at City Hospital. There's the Ohio River right there, and a little bit of sun working through the clouds. So again, that's good news, and that sunshine is going to work in um, from north to south, so that's why it's even nice to see some of that sunshine uh, that far south down near the Ohio River. But our backyard forecast today, mostly cloudy, 71 degrees next hour. Still looking uh, at a chance of an isolated sprinkle through noon. Most of us are going to be dry by then, but the chance still does exist. I'm calling it about a 20% chance and then no percent chance by 5 p.m. We'll see some sunshine working back in, a few clouds, but a lot of us will be mostly sunny at that point. So looking ahead the next couple of hours, uh, we will see that very, very small threat for a sprinkle coming through. But tonight it is going to be chilly, natural air conditioning, and a great night to open up windows and enjoy some uh, cooler weather. Tomorrow morning, Youngstown at 59. But look at some of our more outlying areas. Canfield 51, Newton Falls 51. That might be a little bit on the cool side. But I do anticipate some rural communities getting into the mid-50s tomorrow morning with a little bit of dew on the grass and some sun to kick off our Sunday. By lunchtime tomorrow, upper 60s and then mid-70s for highs tomorrow. It'll be a beautiful day overall thanks to high pressure settling into the valley. And then early Monday morning, we're back down into the 50s once again. And the remnants of Laura are now sitting along the Ohio River near Marietta all the way down to Charleston, West Virginia. Our cold front today is going to push that off to the east. We're not going to see any effects of Laura here, thankfully. But high pressure settling in for tomorrow means partly cloudy day, low humidity, highs in the 70s tomorrow. And that will be our influence the first half of Monday, too. But then the second half of Monday, another low pressure center will track up the Ohio River Valley. And that will set us up for a chance for some showers on Monday and even Tuesday as well. So if you want to mow the lawn, Sunday's your best bet. 74, dry, partly cloudy, no wet grass, except for some dew early in the morning. So I'd wait until uh, once we get... Uh, till later in the afternoon, maybe afternoon tomorrow. Then Tuesday and Wednesday back into the 80s. Wednesday's our best chance to see some rain. And then Labor Day weekend, 75 on Friday. Long range models suggesting we're gonna be in the 70s and low humidity all the way through the holiday.